Tony here from Six String Country. I'm gonna go over the solo for Here's a Quarter called Someone Who Cares. The solo and really the whole lead lesson is pretty heavy on the bender. So I usually teach it without using the bender, but I thought I'll teach it both ways. I'm gonna show you how I do it with the G bender for those of you that have a, a G bender. And for those of you who don't, we'll talk about a way that you could um, play these riffs without it, um, which are usually pretty doable. All right, so let's go over it. I'll play through the solo once. Nice and slow, um, but in tempo. Then we'll go over it note by note, and then at the end we'll do it with the metronome. And for tone, you, it's pretty basic lead country tone. Put a little compression on there, maybe just a little bit of reverb and delay, but not much. And some good, you know, tube overdrive, nice bright trebly tone on your bridge pickup, and you're going to be pretty close. All right. So here's how the solo looks. Then we'll do it note by note. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Um, so this is all tabbed out right beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com. Make sure you pull those up. And we're going to start right there at the lead solo. The intro look, this is in 6-8 time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is how we count this song, right? Every measure gets that many beats. And so this first lick um, looks like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're just going open D string to G and then back to D string. All right, and then we do this. If you've got a bender, but I'm, this bender is a matinee bender, and all I have to do, most, most benders are like this. You also get some with the G string that are uh, hip benders. But however you can get this bender to go up a mechanical step, or a whole step mechanically, rather, excuse me. <laughs> um, we're gonna get pick on the second fret of G here, and your finger on your right hand is gonna cluck this third fret of B, and we're gonna do two bends. Now if you don't have a bender, you can do it, it's just, you know, this low on the neck, you can really tell uh, when they're using a bender, right? Um, so that'd be the other option. Get both these fingers on the second fret of G, and do it that way. So after we do that twice, pick it again and come down, pull off the open G, third fret of D, and do that back and forth twice, third fret of D over to open G. All right, and we're gonna pick the D string, cluck the G string there, so. And then here's another really cool bender lick. So we're gonna start on this D string, G string, D string, high E string, D string, and then we're gonna pick that G string, bend it, and then back to D. Third fret of G, and then slide into that fifth fret of the D string. All right, then we have this. All right, so we're starting on the D string there. You could do a bender. That's just open D, second G string, and then a bend on the second fret. Back down to open G, then a quick slide to four. That's more like it, so we slide into four, then cluck that B string third fret, uh, fourth fret of G, and then a quick bend on five, back down to three, and then we do this. So we're pre-bending that fifth fret now, clucking it, come down, pull off to three, four of G, back to third fret of B, then we do double stops. And we're picking the G string, clucking the high E string, slide into seven and seven, six, five. And that's the first half of the solo. Let's do just that one more time. Two, three, four, five. All right, now we're into the second half. Here's how it looks. All 
Let's get just that. So now this is in the key of G, right? We're going to kind of get over to position five pentatonic key of G, or you could think about it um, position six diatonic in G major. And we're going to start here, the 13th fret and the 15th fret of B and high E. We're going to cluck B, uh, pick B, excuse me, and cluck high E, two bends. And then if you've got a bender, you're on tw uh, 14 of G, 15 of B, down one, down two, and then come back down. And then you go all the way down to seven and eight of the same strings. Do a little hitch there and come back down. All right, if you don't have a bender, it'd be. Still very doable, just kind of cool with the bender. All right? Okay, moving on. To end the solo, we do this. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we start open D string, three, G string, cluck that, D string again, then a three of G, open, two on the third fret of D, open, three of A, open D, three, one, and three of low E, then, so for that three, open, hammer on, hammer on, one and two, and then uh, G string open. And that is this whole solo. Hopefully we kind of showed you how you can do it with the bender and without it. Um, let's turn on the metronome and play through this at full speed. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> 